Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey, here, uh, before the video actually starts, to tell you that, um, so, the next couple of videos coming up are me with the Mew Mew Force, and some of them don't have an intro, and the reason is, is that, uh, <laughs> we recorded too long, and it would take too long in my current setup to actually release these, and I don't have a lot of time, so they're basically being released in 10 chunk parts. So there's no ending for uh, part one and part three and in parts um, two and four, you won't hear. Actually, I think it's one, three and five. Man, there's a lot. We recorded a lot. Anyway, here's me just to say, enjoy the video. Hope you like it. It's another grind and talk. So I'm never sure if people like them, but here you go. And uh, if you wonder why the video cuts off weirdly at the end, that's the reason why. Goodbye. I'm going to hit start record and say, Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm Wookie and I'm here with the Mew Mew Force members, Captain Soldier 76. Hello. And Jace. Hello. Fuck that snake. <laughs> First of all, I'm not putting, actually, you know, just because you mentioned it, I'm now going to put up snake drinking water uh, <laughs> because you've summoned the beast. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, today's uh, video, which I'll explain to you guys, and then th everyone else should know, it's another good old grinding talk. I play a lot of gotcha games where most of the things you do is grinding, so I'm going to be grinding in the background, and then we're just going to have a lovely chat. How about that? Today's video is Dokkan, and the new Heroes collab came out, so there's a bunch of hero units I need to grind for. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but for right now, we'll just talk to each other. How's it going? How you been? <laughs> how's it? How's it hanging? Apparently, today's the longest day of the year, and I haven't been keeping track. But someone said we're like not going back to uh, what's it called? Uh, daylight savings? Or no, we're getting off daylight savings. We're we're destroying daylight savings. We are no longer going to be it, like. We're staying on this time, right? I know, I know that was like a while back now, but just asking. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Like it doesn't really apply to me. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's true. I'm not a farmer either, so I don't know anything about well, daylight saving time. It was, it was a random point in conversation the other day. Someone just pointed it out. They were like, "Yeah, in fall we don't gain an hour." I'm like, "What? Whose dumbass idea was it to have this? You know, implemented." At the part where we lose an hour and not when we gain an hour. I feel like I was robbed of an hour of my life. <laughs> you don't get to fall back. Yeah. You're, you're like one of those dudes who are like, what do you mean they're getting rid of the penny? <laughs> That's my money. <laughs> what am I going to do about my pennies? I mean, I will say for, I mean, we're okay. I'm pretty sure all your listeners know that the three of us are Californians. That's right. California screaming. And I will say, for what is supposed to be the first day of summer and the longest day of summer, uh, it's really gloomy outside. It rained today. Yeah. It's been nice and cool. I'm really worried for uh, September and October. It's either going to be extremely hot or we might experience weather this year, guys. What if we, will we finally get the fabled dream of having it snow? Can I finally have it fucking snow over here and just Ooh. pure chaos rain down from the sky? <laughs> so, I, I'm just happy I got to wear boots this morning. But, on the topic of snow, so I looked in the mountains earlier this year. And there was snow in the mountains. There hasn't been snow in the mountains since I first moved here, like, 20 years ago. It was awesome. And it wasn't just, like, a little bit. Like, just at the, at the very top, it was, like, halfway down the mountain. It was crazy. <laughs> It's cold. Snow's it's very great. cold. I want snow so badly. Have I ever told you that uh, my, um, I think I think at the time, if I want to say it was my uncle. Yeah, my uncle, uh, he brought down snow because he went to go visit, I think, Big Bear. And then he brought back snow for everyone. And so he brought in his truck a shit ton of snow. And then he gave it to, our, to all the kids in the family got together to the snow. He's like, I brought snow. I don't know how long it's going to last. But you guys should play with this snow while you got it. <laughs> And then all of us were like, yeah, and then we immediately started chucking the snow at each other. <laughs> Same. 
that's oh. actually really kind of him to do. <laughs> it is, especially because I was like, I don't know why you're doing this, but I thank you so much. I, I, I don't think there's much, um, many Californian kids. I guess one. I, I will say now there's a lot of things California kids probably want. <laughs> Not like back in my day, where the, all they had to worry about was, man, I wish there was snow. There's so <laughs> many TV specials with snow in it. <laughs> so, gosh, I wish my family members weren't being absconded by ice agents. I, yeah, <laughs> back in my day, all the only ice we had to worry about was the ice that came from the sky. <laughs> nowadays, or the lack thereof. Nowadays, everyone's like trying to keep check to make sure everyone in the family's okay it's like all right nobody's gone gone in yet my, my fucking uh uncle one time went uh, my uncle apparently only messes with my brother and sister uh in the sense that uh he goes up to them and then he'll say stuff but he doesn't say it to me <laughs> for some reason but he came into the room and uh he came to knock on the door to say like oh i need to ask him something but she was like, oh, okay, it's okay to open the door. And then he opened the door and immediately said, ice here. <laughs> Hands up. Oh my god. Fuck. And my sister was like, it was really weird. <laughs> we don't know why he did that. <laughs> and I was like, really? It's like, okay. That's, a, <laughs> that's real fucked up, but it's not like you could do anything. It's his house. <laughs> Man. Oh, the other, have you ever done that thing uh, where – have you ever done that thing? Obviously, did, uh, so uh, back when I was in elementary school uh, – this is, again, related to snow. Um, my teacher – no, not my teacher. My school – my elementary school brought in snow from Big Bear as well. And they put it all in, like, the middle of the grass. And they just got a shit ton of snow. And then they said, kids, we brought you snow so you can play in the snow. And then all the kids were, all right. And then they were like, also, we've made a circle perimeter for all you bastards that want to throw snow at each other. You're going to have to chuck this shit from far away if you want to hit anybody. And everyone else who just wants to play snowmen, they can go in the middle. And I was like, all right, I don't want to really throw anything at anyone, so I'm just going to play snow in the middle. They neglected to mention that, like, all the kids on the perimeter, they're going to have to shoot through the middle <laughs> to get to the other people on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so what was happening was I was like, these motherfuckers keep accidentally pelting me with snow. I'm tired of this. I'm just going to go on the other side and I'm going to throw snow at them instead. And that's when I learned I can't throw for shit. <laughs> so <laughs> so it was a lot of like me trying to make a snowball. My hands are cold. And then I threw it and it immediately hit no one. <laughs> it was like no one in my general area. <laughs> it just plopped down immediately. I was like, I don't want to play in the snow anymore. <laughs> I just want to... This was supposed to be a fun full day. This is all I want. I didn't get it. And that's why the the cousin thing was so good. Because nobody there cared. <laughs> they just immediately aimed for the head and went for it. Oh, man. You ever been hit with, like, hard ice? I want to say yes. No, I haven't been hit by... I've been hit with eggshells, but that's about it. Eggshells? No, I don't think it's called eggshells. Do you know that uh, those... Not April Fool's. The um, Easter Bunny thing where it was a yeah, yeah. confetti thing? Yeah, you empty out the egg, you put confetti in it, patch yeah. it up. Yes. Wait, did so, you make those yourself? Because like I saw the 99 cent store selling those. Uh, I think... Some people in my family made some of them, but then also they just bought a shit ton of them. Uh, and that's always fun because no one there actually ever throws it. What, Especially what my cousin used to do was that he would go up to your face and then immediately squish that shit on your head. Oh yeah, that's that's what that's what my cousin did too. They would just fucking just get real close to you and just jam it on you. It's like, oh god. And then you, hear, you get to hear the crack and also feel their freaking arm right hit you in the <laughs> face <laughs> and then i'll go know these okay. things were a thing did you know, know these things were a thing no like i because you know i was born on the islands and like i just never like they were never a thing there like i'd never seen those until i came here and like even then it wasn't until like two years ago where, where i saw those so you know it was 
that's a, a big portion of my <laughs> life where I didn't know that those were a thing. The people were too busy bashing each other with coconuts to do, to do anything with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's a Hispanic thing. I, I've, really? Yeah, I've only ever seen Hispanic families do it. Never seen a white family do it. Maybe we need to bring this into the white populations. Maybe that will get them talking again. We need to, we need to be like, all right, here's how to get your family together. You gotta bash <laughs> them with eggs during a day to celebrate Jesus. It's really the only thing that keeps families together. I think we're painting a very vivid episode of who we are this this week. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're in California, we're obviously not white. Uh, one of us is an islander. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Like, yeah, who knew that Captain oh, well, Ginyu? Damn. <laughs> who knew that Ginyu was a uh, uh, Samoan or something? Who that was a Samoan name? <laughs> uh, here's our our first last name. Here's our address. <laughs> I mean, to be uh, fair, if if you ever if see you Cap- s- Captain Ginyu in the show, those kind of dances don't come from anyone but from the, from the islands. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Uh, if you see us at Anime Expo, make sure to say hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first of all, if you could somehow find Jace at Anime Expo, I won't be there this year. Because uh, I didn't want to go this year. Oh, but you didn't want to put yourself through hell? Oh, God, no. All the too many times I've gone through fucking hell in Anime Expo. Well, to be fair, last year was actually very nice. It was just that one year. This It was the second year where everything went to shit and... <laughs> I learned never again to underestimate how fucking shitty waiting at a con can be. (laughs) You know, it's funny. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. No, I was just going to say, like, I I can't believe it's already been a year. Because last year was the first year that I went. And it was was just random. I wasn't expecting to go, but my friends were like, hey, we have an extra ticket. You want to come? I'm like, fuck yeah.